Okay, so now we will discuss density and contour plots. Uh, we will make a new file for that. And we will rename the file by the name density and contour plots. Uh, sometimes it is useful to display three dimensional data in two dimensions using contours or color coded regions. There are three matplotlib functions that can be helpful for this task. plt.contour for contour plots uh, and plt contour f for filled contour plots and plt.imshow for better images. Uh, so this lecture and upcoming lectures looks at several examples of using these. We'll start by setting up the notebook for plotting and importing the functions we will use. Like uh, matplotlib inline import matplotlib dot plt plt dot style dot um, seaborn white now import bias and b so now we will visualizing a three dimensional function we will discuss visualizing a three dimensional function so which has the equation uh, this one which is this in the brackets so we'll start by demonstrating a contour plot using a function this z is equals to f x comma y using the following particular choice for f uh, we have seen this before in computation on arrays broadcasting on page 63 when we used it as a motivating example for array broadcasting so now def will start coding F Y return and B dot sign now three sterix then plus and B dot then Y X now and B dot plus uh Okay, so a contour plot can be created with the plt.contour function. It takes three arguments, a grid of x values, a grid of y values, and a grid of z values. The x and y values represent positions of the plot, and the z values will be represented by the contour levels. Perhaps the most straightforward way to prepare such data is to use the np.mashgrid function, which builds a, a two-dimensional grids from one-dimensional array. Let me show you how. So goes to np dot then space fifty by then space here forty now x y and b dot mesh grid. Z is equals to F X um, and P dot in space Lin oh. space. Okay. Now let's look at this with a standard line only contour plot. Now plt dot contour. Headers. Now we have this. Okay, so notice that by default when a single color is used, negative values are represented by dashed lines and positive values by solid lines. 
Alternatively, you can color code the lines by specifying a color map with the C map argument. Here we'll also specify that we want more lines to be drawn. 20 equally spaced intervals within the data range. Let me show you PLT dot. Y. C. 20. C map. Hard. C. Square. We have this colored one. Okay, here we choose the RDGY short for red and gray color map, which is a good choice for centered data. Matplotlib has a wide, wide range of color maps available, which you can easily browse in IPython by doing a tab completion on the plt.cm module. So our plot is looking nicer, but the spaces between the lines may be a bit distracting. We can change this by switching to a filled contour plot using the plt.contourf function. Notice the f at the end, which uses largely the same syntax as plt.contour. Okay, so now additionally, we'll add a plt.colorbar um, uh, command which automatically creates an additional axis with labeled color information for the plot. Now let me show you plt dot contour f x y c 20 c map r d now plt dot bar so we have this dense color with data filled contour so the color bar makes it uh, that makes it makes it clear that the black regions are peaks while the red regions are valleys one potential issue with this plot is that it's a bit uh, splotchy that is the color steps are discrete rather than continuous which is not always what is desired you could uh, you could remedy this by setting the number of contours to a high, to a very high number, but this results in a rather inefficient plot. Matplotlib must render a new polygon for each step in the level. A better way to handle this is to use the plt dot show function, which interrupt, interprets a two-dimensional grid of data as an image. Now let me show you plt dot extent 0 5 0 5 origin floor C map RD of PLT dot color bar plt dot axis aspect image now we have this uh, so there are a few potential gotchas with m show however let me show you here uh, So uh, the number one is uh, we, we we have third point as well. Uh, okay, so the the plt dot m show it doesn't accept an x and y grid, so you must manually specify the extent x minimum x max y minimum y max of the image on the plot so plt.m show by default follows the standard image array definition where the origin is in the upper left not in the lower left as in most contour plots this must be changed when the showing gridded data now plt.m show function will automatically adjust the axis aspect ratio to match the image data you can change this by setting, for example, 
plt dot x is aspect is equals to image to make x and y units match so now finally it can create it can sometimes be useful to combine contour plots with image plots for example to create the effect shown i will show you we'll use a partially transparent background image with transparency set via the alpha parameter and over plot contours with labels on the contour themselves using the plt.c label function um, let me show you here contours plt dot contour y three colors black plt dot c label contours in line two font size eight plt dot in zero extent zero five zero five C map alpha zero point five PLT dot other bar okay. So now we, the combination of these three functions, plt.contour, plt.contourf, and plt.aimshow give nearly limitless possibilities for displaying this sort of three-dimensional data given a two-dimensional plot.